Ho, ho, ho. Merry Christmas. Uh, it appears Santa's in Denmark. Ooh, Santa Claus. And it appears Santa's brought his, his little, his, all his elves with him to help the Danes fight off the Nazis uh, in 39, Operation Vesabon. Um, and what, what else has he brought with him? How's he done this? What? I don't even know how this would work. You've got a, a blitzkrieg for some speed, and then throwing shells, not men. Uh, a manpower is precious, I could tell. And then you've got, you need loads of planning, but you need to throw loads of shells and loads of men. And loads of speed them. I don't know how that works. But yeah, Denmark, Denmark has nukes. But yeah, Santa's. Just, just look at this. You've got nuclear factories. You've got you've got level ten ports, level ten forts, level ten coastal lines everywhere. Um, fucking, just look at this. Just look at this. Look at it. <laughs> it doesn't make it's, it's, it's weird. It's weird. But yeah, I uh, hope hopefully Denmark should be able to survive. I mean, factory count's not the best, but I helped them by putting. In. Oh, by the way, the technological advantage. Uh, Denmark can't actually. Research anymore because well, it's the max Hoi Foy allows, and Hoi Foy doesn't really go on till 2020 equipment because there's no point, no one plays till then. Uh, so, yeah, by the time the war breaks out, most people will be on this technology, some on this, maybe. So, yeah, that that is better, but I mean, of course, they still got these advantages, but it will, it will have less of an effect than them having that. Okay, so they're doing Operation Vesa Bongen. I, 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 I think that's how it's said. They say it. So yeah, we'll uh, we'll be able to have a, have a look at the um, the, the Danes' defense. Defense. I mean, they don't have the the biggest army. Where, where's the army? They don't have a big army, but you know it's it's better than nothing. I don't know why they're not making a big army though, because they have the manpower to do it. They should have the resources, yeah, it's just these, just spout, just infantry. Well, they got, okay, so they've got their war on Denmark now, and uh, there they go. Straight into war, do they have any naval invasions planned for Copenhagen? No. Doesn't appear that, you know, they'll hold the Danes, but it's more, uh, if they could just get Copenhagen and a naval invasion there, then it's, it's a bit of a hard... Hard loss, and they. What are they doing? Okay, why the Germans hadn't pushed into that, I don't know. But they didn't. But yeah, now they're, they're, they're defending Copenhagen as well as Arius, and uh, for some reason, this place here, which. Okay, so they've, they've just bombed Hamburg. So yeah. They should hopefully be suffering some, some attrition here, because the infrastructure level's low. It's a bit early for the US to be joining the Allies. And um, Japan hasn't went against the Allies yet, so. I don't know. We. Oh, God. Oh, God. They've just used up all their nukes. <laughs> hungry. Oh, they're hungry. Why would you join the Axis when you've just seen Germany get bombed? <laughs> they're gonna cut every province as soon as it's just. It's not looking good. Let's go to their menu. Oh, good lord. Hungry. Why would you join this? Look at all this. They don't... They're not... Why are they not building back up? Oh, the consumer kids are there. Oh. Ooh. You, you can't be, you can't be trading. Oh, Germany, stop the trading now and just just work on reconstruction now. <laughs> oh, I said Dresden would, would be a fun place, but I think they may have nuked Dresden. <laughs> oh, just, just click on the states. Just click on the states. Have they managed to hit Austria? Not really. Oh, well, they've hit they've hit Vienna. Oh, and they've been circled. Part down here's got more interesting because 
Oh, Greece is here, and it's just kind of. Oh, hopefully, then Romania doesn't doesn't go join the Axis. Maybe I guess. But the force abdication. That's not really a democratic. Step. Yeah, it's not really a democratic path, is it? If they can get Bulgaria out, then that, that's that's an Axis member dead, and they they can't worry about it because these neutral nations, well, they're more pro Axis. So hope, hope, hopefully they don't join. But the Vikings, they're coming! Oh, and they're building many, many infantry divisions. <laughs> and they keep using their nukes, which I love to see. Germany is still suffering from all the nukes dropped to them. <laughs> they haven't prepared, but yeah. Uh, unfortunately, Romania joined, so now they're going to have to fight all the way up through the Balkans. But it's a small front because Yugoslavia is not there, so. Oh, can Berlin fall? This is one of the most important things of Berlin falls. But you know, the other little side things, you got Hanover, you got Magdeburg, presumably, as well as you got Stettin. Berlin's encircled, so, I mean, I guess the only supplies now coming from their allies in Italy, Hungary, Slovakia, Romania, and the rest of Bulgaria. Although, Japan's not doing too well, but they're doing better than what they were historically. I, I, eh. Not really. But they're not doing the best. But the Danes, they're still making their attack. And uh, it, it's, it's definitely going well now. You can't deny it. Like, Berlin has fallen. Um, but the attack has stopped, so. But, 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 but that's all that matters, really. Berlin's fallen. And uh, if they can hold this game, they've also taken Cousin over here and into Poland. Uh, and Bremen. So yeah, this has been a pretty a good attack. I don't know why they've stopped it. It's not like manpower's the issue. Why we fight, focus done. Now just imagine Santa up there. Little Santa hat on. Sitting in Copenhagen. We fight for freedom. For our presence. And because the Germans invade, uh, declared war on us. But, but mainly for the presence. <laughs> you want to be good, don't you kids? Go, go fight them. I'll, I'll give you some presents. I, I swear. Look, there's there's D Day. Look, ah, this see, ah, ah, allies have been a good, good people. So they will get lots of presents. So uh, a Greek, so will Greeks for holding out, as well as the British for beating the Italians in Libya, and um, the Chinese for for beating, or at least holding the Japanese until they. To the, to the Japanese go after the Allies and then hopefully the Allies win. Hopefully. One, you haven't stopped D Day. Two, you've declared war on the Soviets. Three, you've declared, oh, Italy's declared war on Yugoslavia. Four, Denmark. Denmark is a. Uh, it's, 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 it's been annoying. And Poland's back on the map. Baby, ooh, ah. ooh, 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 who's trying to attack them? Who's trying to attack them? The Soviets? Oh, no, it's Japan. What? Oh, they'll probably secure the Philippines, of course. Of course. Japan, have, have you looked at Germany? I wouldn't want to go near to the Philippines. You need to feel bad for Japan. The days of Luke's in 41. <laughs> and it will not be a fun time for Nagasaki and Hiroshima. Okay, so the German like, don't know what's happened, but there's been a peace deal, and now Germany is split into a one, two, three, two. Did the Soviets just get Poland? Cause that's why I saw Poland back on the map in Poznan. But um, why have you done? I get, I didn't, didn't, unless that's what Germany got right there. Is this Danish territory? It's German territory. Alright, yeah, so it looks like the, the Germans are just... Why would you declare war again? You just got beaten once, you got absolutely battered, now you're going in again for number two, really. What an idiot. Anyway, thank you for watching. This is a, what if, what if Santa? Give them like, just a little gift around this time. It's Christmas time. Santa Claus right here. He gave Denmark the gift of technology. 
his elf minions, as well as some forts, some some rocket sites, some nukes, you know, some some coastal forts, and and never ten ports along every single place of Denmark. I don't care where you want to go. If you want to go to the most remote place in Denmark, like this island here, that most people probably haven't realised is in the game, you can go there. Or this island here, which who uses this island except the AI? Fortune, peace.